हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड सीन द कोड ऑफ मल्टी थ्रेडेड सर्वर विच एक्सेप्ट और हैंडल मल्टीपल क्लाइंट साइमल्टेनियसली नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी क्लाइंट प्रोग्राम एंड वी विल ऑल्सो सी द इंट्रैक्शन बिटवीन मल्टी थ्रेडेड सर्वर एंड द टू क्लाइंट्स so when multiple clients can connect to the server and each time a client connect to a corresponding thread which is created for handling client requests so let's write the source code for the client side so that the client can connect to the multi threaded server so open up your id and uh, i am using pycharm here for coding firstly as we all know that we have to import socket module of python so let's import socket now let's create client socket object so client socket is equal to socket dot socket right now what we need is to assign same host and port number to the client as we defined in the server right if otherwise it will not able to make the connection between server and the client as we have already seen in the previous two previous lectures so let's copy from there so let's copy from the server so host is as we know host is uh, 127.0.0.1 and port is let's say 1233 which is in the valid range now we want to set up a connection right so we use connect method of python socket library we have already seen that connect method establishes a connection with the server using host and the port number right so let's uh, and we know that this always we in a try and catch block try and accept block sorry so try client socket dot connect and here we have to pass the tuple so host comma port okay and if it is not able to connect then it will print an error so accept socket dot error as e print uh, str of e and also yeah here uh, we, i am writing a uh, print uh, waiting for connection okay yeah so now what we want is to make sure that client keeps running as the server is running right so for that we need to use a infinite while loop so let's say while uh, true and also let's provide input option to the client so that it can send data back to the server and along with this we also use receive function to receive the data from the server side right so let's uh, put all these uh, things into this infinite loop so let's uh, input is equal to input let's say say something right i am taking a input from the user and let's send this so client socket dot send and here we have to encode str dot encode here i have to pass input right and also let's take a response from the server so response is equal to client socket dot receive here i am passing maximum byte is 1024 and also i am printing the response here so print response dot decode utf8 right and also let's remember that uh, remember that uh, 
from the server side we are passing welcome to the server so let's also print out, outside of the infinite loop so that we are also able to print that message also so let's print it here so response is equal to client socket dot receive 1024 maximum byte right and here let's say print response dot decode utf8 yeah so yeah now the code is completed so let's run the code so firstly we have to run the server and as you see here that let's uh, let's run the code right and let's run the code and firstly we have to run the server code so let's run it so after running server code let's see, as you see here that it says print waiting for connection now now let's run the client code yeah client code runs successfully as you see here the output we are getting is waiting for new connection okay and yeah welcome to the server and it is saying say something again let's see the server output again so as you see here it is saying that connected to this specified uh, ip address and port and here is you see that it prints thread count is equal to one so yeah first client is successfully connected to the server now let's again come back to the client output and here i am giving uh, input as hello server so yeah so we get the output as hello i am server hello server so yeah it is working fine and uh, we are successfully interacting with the multi-threaded server so let's see it support multi client or not so again i am making one more client i am not going to write the whole code again just copying the code of the client and this client and paste it in another another file so let's run so let's do this oh, okay yeah so let's run this second client so yeah so let's see the output of the server again so as you see here that throughout thread count becomes two right so connection it means that connection gets established with the second client also here you see connected to and this this ip address and port number so yeah so our multi-threaded server is able to interact with the multiple clients so we have successfully designed the multi-threaded server as well as uh, multi clients two clients so i hope you all enjoyed the lecture series of python socket programming and uh, you are all able to understand this lecture so thank you very much guys thank you